Sorry to move you around if you're on there. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Let's see if I have this on the right setting here. Oh, yeah. Okay. How's everybody doing? Uh, I uh, might cut my head off. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Move me over a little bit. No, oh, that was a lot. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well out there. That should be good. Remember, if you need a drink, you can grab a drink. You can grab a blanket or a block if you need it. Tonight, we're going to go through a lot of things that we've done over the six weeks. This is our last class of the six weeks. Um, I'm sorry I'm on my phone, I know it's rude, but I have to give you an email address. Let me see where that is. <clears throat> okay. So this was our last class of our second six weeks together. So if you'd like to participate again, we will run the classes for another six weeks, which is so wonderful, I'm so excited. We will start next Tuesday again at 7 p.m. And it will be a new link. So if you'd like to participate, the email, and I believe she sent it out in an email to all of you too, but it's memberbenefits at gbu.org if you're interested and you'd like to sign up again, that would be wonderful. And again, when you sign up, any comments are wonderful. Thank you all for the very sweet compliments on the class. I really appreciate it. So I am so honored to be here and so fun for our last class. We're going to kind of go through things that we've gone through for the last five weeks and we're going to put them all together. So you're going to see some balance, some core work. You're going to see sun salutations and you'll notice that my foot is it's, I don't have my shoes on today, which is good. Um, it's still wrapped. It feels a little better. It's getting better little by little. I did get it checked out. I'm not sure, uh, I may not have told you it's not broken, it's okay. So just some ligaments that are a little screwed up in there and ligaments take a long time to heal. So let's start off today just by sitting in a comfortable position so you can stagger your feet. If it feels better for your legs to be out, you can take them out. If you wanna prop your hips up with that blanket, you can take that blanket under your hips and let's sit on the sits bones. We're gonna start by just taking some deep breaths here, allowing that stomach to expand. and allowing all of your breath to come out as you relax your belly. And breathing is definitely one way to meditate. So if you've never meditated before, you could definitely just sit in a quiet space if you have that option and take the time to hear your breath you're breathing in, it's audible. As you exhale, it's audible. So you should hear your inhale and your exhales. And maybe add an affirmation to your breathing. You could say something like, you are enough, you are strong, you are beautiful. 
Just hold on to that affirmation throughout class and remind yourself of that affirmation. We're still breathing. And let's just drop your chin to your chest, relax your shoulders, make that space between your shoulders and your ears. We're still breathing. Now let's take your chin, looking up toward the ceiling. Drop your chin now as you exhale, inhale and lift. And let's take your gaze from the left to the right. Good. Let's inhale now, reaching the arms overhead. Really reach and take it down. Let's drop your chest down in the front, taking your arms back, stretching through your chest as you exhale. Now inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reaching up now a little higher on each side. Stretch through those sides. Arms right by your ears. Hands tucked behind your head. And again, drop your chin to your chest. So your fingertips are on the back of your head. You're gently pressing your neck down, but at the same time, you're pressing your head into your fingertips. Your shoulders are actively engaged. So they're melting down your back away from your ears. Good, let's reach up and allow those hands to drop back behind you, stretching through your chest. We're just walking the hands back, really opening up the chest in front of your shoulders, maybe tilting your head up and back. Good, let's release and walk forward. Wiggle your fingers. And let's come up on to hands and knees in your tabletop, remembering that strong spine. So we're not arched, we're not rounded. We have that strong spine, your belly is engaged. Let's pull your belly button to your spine. Good, nice job. Now let's untuck those toes. We're gonna sit back on those heels and come back to tabletop. Good. Still warming up the body before we get to <clears throat> work in our class. Good, now allow the tops of your feet to find the mat. Settle back to your heels and come back to tabletop. So here we're still breathing. We're exhaling as we sit back, inhaling forward. And I encourage you to get a little lower every time you exhale, get a little closer to those heels. Your breath is guiding you. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Inhale, nice. Now let's just shake your hips a little bit, move your body. And let's take a few cat cows here. 
So in cat cow, we're starting first with the top of your spine. Your tailbone is coming up last. Dropping your head first and your tailbone is last. As you exhale, let out all the air. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Let's inhale. And exhale. Good. Again, start to rock. Just move the way you feel you need a little bit of stress relief. So if it's in your shoulders, you can kind of move your shoulders around. If it's in your hips, move your hips. Let's drop down to your elbows. And now your hips are still in the air. We just rock forward and back, pressing off of the elbows. You can also take your hands in front for more support. Spread your fingers if you need to. Your shoulders are still creating that space between your ears. Good. Remember, if anything does not feel right for your body, you're dropping back to child's pose. Now let's stay on the elbows. Move the knees together. We're gonna take the left leg straight back. If that feels good and you feel safe, we're gonna squeeze your belly button to your spine, lifting that leg up off of your mat. Nice, you wanna to try to create a straight line from the crown of your head to your pointed big toe. Nice, you're squeezing your glutes. Let's drop that leg down and pull it in right next to the other knee. And again, take your right leg out this time. Lift up. If this position is not available to you and it's bothering your lower back, just keep your leg down, squeeze your glutes here until you're ready to extend the leg up. Nice job, let's drop down and pull the knee in. Settle back to your heels. Let's take your knees out a little wider in your child's pose. If you have a block, you can place it under your forehead if you need it. Just take a few breaths here. And we're crawling our hands over to the right side. It doesn't have to be very far that you're crawling. Just make sure your hips are staying back. Let's crawl back to the front. And remembering too, that if this is too low for you, you can also come up on your toes and sit back on your heels. We're walking our hands now to the left. Just taking a breath or two here. Feel that nice stretch through the side body. And let's crawl back to the middle. Now from here, we're gonna roll through each vertebrae in your spine as we come back to your tabletop. So let's pull your chin into your chest. Roll, roll, roll. And get to that strong tabletop. Awesome. And again, Articulate that spine, chin to chest, sit all the way back. Good, come forward, let's inhale. Come back, let's exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale now, on our exhale, we're gonna lower your belly to your mat. So we're coming down, hands are under your shoulders, your elbows are close to your body. 
Let's lift up in baby cobra. So we're trying to keep those hips on your mats, your elbows as close as you can, lengthening that spine, lengthening your neck. Good. Keeping your back safe by squeezing your glutes. Squeeze tight. Nice. Each time you might lift up a little higher. And let's try one more. Nice job. Rolling the toes under from here. You can use your knees and come up to downward dog or come right back. Really up to you. If you're on your knees, you're coming back, <laughs> lifting up. Let's pedal your heels into your mat. Lifting your hips a little higher. If you need a break, you're coming down to child's pose or tabletop. Widen your stance. So let's take your feet out as wide as your mat. Start to rock your hips. Just a little bit more of a warm up here. Before we get into these sun salutations, which we'll take really slow. Good, good, good. And now toes to touch. Let's take them together. Bringing your right foot forward in that low lunge here. You can even lay that knee on the mat. If you have a chair in front of you, you can hold onto the chair. Good. Just lift your chest wherever you are. And you might be able to lift it a little higher than you could on day one. Let's take it back, pedal your heels and take your left foot forward. Or you may be able to just bring that foot up to before you might have had to pick it up to bring it forward and you still might have to, that's okay. Good, a little pulse here. Now we're gonna take your right foot up to meet your left in the front of your mat. So let's bring it up. Good, you're in your forward fold. Now just relax your head. You can bend your knees a little bit. Gently rock side to side, grabbing opposite elbows. Again, just allow your head and neck to relax. No need to be tense right now. Take your arms and lengthen them. Fingertips are tented on the mat, or you can touch them to your shins. Good, let's start to roll up. So one vertebrae at a time. We're coming all the way to the top. We're inhaling. Lift your arms overhead, just keep it here. So we have a slight back bend, but we have a heavy tailbone. So we really don't have much of an arch in your back. You're just lifting. Good, hands come to heart. We're diving forward, down to your mats. Relax your head. Let's lift up halfway. So halfway here means you're getting your spine parallel to the floor, lengthening all the way through your neck. Drop all the way down, forward fold. Hinge from your hips and let's lift up. Inhale, now hands to heart in prayer. We're gonna hold them right there in front of your chest. Just take a few cleansing breaths here. Think of those words of affirmation that we talked about at the beginning of class. Well, let's drop your chin to your chest. Now we're sitting back in your chair. So pretending there's a, a, an invisible chair behind you. We're gonna start to drop back. Good, bend those knees more than you're lowering your chest. Come right back up to stand. Good, sit back, stand up. Sit back and this time our arms shoot up above our head. Then lift up. Again, drop down. Lift up. You can even widen your stance when we do this. Just make sure your knees are staying in line with your toes. Your knees are not rotated in. You want as much support for your knees as possible so you can keep them safe. 
Now let's reach up again. We're grabbing that slight back bend. Take your hands to your heart. Let's shake out the legs. We're ready for sun salutations on both sides. So let's start. Let me move my mat out a little bit. Let's start with an inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down to your mat. Inhale, your right foot comes back into that low lunge. Lift your chest. Exhale, downward dog. So we're taking your left back to meet the right. Inhale, we're going to come forward into a plank or a modified plank. So you can bring your knees down. Exhale, and we lower to your mat. Inhale, cobra, heavy tailbone, squeezing your glutes. Good. Exhale, lower back to tabletop here or downward dog here. Inhale, right foot comes through. A lunge, exhale, forward fold. The left foot meets the right. Inhale, we're hinging, lifting. Exhale, we're lowering and sitting back in that chair. Come down. Nice job. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. And let's repeat everything on the opposite side. Inhale, left foot goes back into that lunge. Lift your chest. Nice job. Exhale, tabletop or downward dog. Inhale into your plank or modified plank. Whatever is fine. We're going to move forward and lower down as we exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, downward dog or tabletop. Inhale, left foot through to your low lunge. Nice job. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hinge from your hips, take it slow, lift up, arms overhead. And exhale, let's sit back in your chair. Inhale, raise up, hands come back to heart. Let's drop all the way down in your forward fold. Allow your fingers to drop down, rock back and forth in ragdoll. So your arms just kind of relax, slide side to side. Good. Now let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Again, inhale, lift those arms up. And let's take the hands to heart center. So the first combination today, we're gonna do a few warriors. So let's take your right foot back behind you. And we're facing that right foot. If you were looking at a clock, your toes are facing the number two. If you can't get it, so it's that way, just take it perpendicular to your left foot. So it'll be at the three. Just depends on where you're comfortable here. Now let's take your hands out by your sides. We're in warrior two. Warrior two is very strong. So your hands are extended. Your fingers are extended. Your arms are extended. Your shoulders are relaxed. Now keep the knee that's bent directly over that ankle. That's your base. Good. Your belly's tight. Lift up. At the same time, you're pulling the inside of your legs together. And let's lean in for side angle. Now, if you have some shoulder issues, you can definitely keep your hand on your hip. But you want to open that chest. So let's open up. And if it helps too, you can take your hand behind your head and open or leave it up to the ceiling, reaching up high. Now extended side angle, we're gonna take that arm over your head. Keep that front knee bent if you can. 
Wonderful job. Let's straighten that front leg. We're going to come back and reverse the warrior. So now your right hand is on your right leg, left arm goes up, and your gaze is up to the ceiling here, or you can take it down to your right foot. Good. Hold that stretch here for a few breaths. And we're back to warrior two. Back to that strong position. Good. Grab your stomach muscles, your glute muscles. Keep those arms strong. All right, let's take your arms down by your side. We'll take that right foot forward. Good. Shake your legs out. I'm going to show you from the back, the other side. We're going to take your left leg back now. So let's inhale. Hands come down to heart center. Left foot goes back. And now those toes are facing toward the 10 o'clock if you had a clock around you. We're gonna dig those arms straight out for warrior two. Good, keep this position strong. Relax your shoulders. There's a lot of things happening even though it doesn't look like much. Let's lean into that leg. And remember, you can keep your hand behind your back, open your chest, hand behind your head, open your chest, or just keep that arm reaching over. Now the arm that's on the leg, you're hardly putting any, any weight on there. Just wanna kind of lay it there. You should be able to lift it and lower it. And let's extend that side angle over if you can. Push through, straighten that leg. Let's lean back, reverse that warrior. Looking up at the sky or down at your left foot. Either way. Just keep breathing. Bend the front knee, come back to your warrior two. Relax your shoulders. Arms come down. Let's take that left foot forward. Nice job, shake it out. Second combination before we do balance. Let's inhale. You can take the legs back like we did before. You can come all the way down to your forward fold. Take your right leg back and sweep the arms up into warrior two from there. Good, either way is fine. There's no competition. We're looking over that left hand. And let's try triangle. We haven't done that for a while. So we're gonna straighten the front knee. We're still pulling these inner thighs together, gently pressing the hip back, leaning forward toward the front leg. Let's place your hand on your shin or your ankle. If you're up a little higher, that's okay too. Just skip your knee. You never want to hold on to that knee. So it's either above the knee or below the knee. Pretend there's two panes of glass pushing you together here. So you can open your chest a little more. Your chest should not be lowered. Good. You can look up at that hand. You can look down at your foot. Whatever feels good at this moment. Good, now let's take that left arm, place it on the leg and go into extended side angle from here. And turn the torso so it's toward the mat, both hands come down. Let's bring that right foot forward. Good, hinge from your hips, let's lift up. Slide back bend. Hands to heart. Let's bow down. So you can take your left foot back this way or from a standing position, sweep the hands up into warrior two. Wonderful job. Good, get those ears away from your shoulders and let's straighten that leg in the front. 
Gently start to press the hip back. Drop the right hand down to the leg. Reach the other arm up. Shoulder issues. You can take your hand on your hip, trying to open that chest at the same time. Wonderful job. Your gaze is up to the sky or down at your right foot. Good. Start to bend the front knee. Lay the arm on the leg and extend the side angle. Wonderful. So we should think about a long line from your fingertips down to the heel of the left foot. Good job, twist your torso toward the mat. Take both hands down and let's take your left foot up to meet your right. You hinge from your hips, let's lift up. Hands to heart center. That was awesome. Good job. Okay, let's shake. Shake your shoulders, shake your legs. All right, getting ready for our balance pose. Tonight we're gonna do tree. So with tree, I'll show you from the front. Hands are at your heart. And sometimes if your mat's a little thicker, it will prevent you from Balancing, I don't like thick mats for my balance. Mine is pretty thick because this floor is really hard. So I'm gonna move mine back a little bit. It still might not have balance, but we'll see. So for tree, let's take your right foot and we're gonna press that ankle or press that heel into your ankle if you're comfortable there. And if you think you can take it a little higher, take it off of the floor. And remember your belly button is your center of gravity. You really wanna squeeze that in, create some length in your spine, pull your shoulders back. If you're okay there, you can also skip your knee, just like we did before, come a little higher. Now you're pressing this bent knee toward the back, you're opening up. Good, good, good. Wonderful, now you can keep it where you are bothering my foot a little bit, so I'm gonna put it down. Doesn't matter where you are. Your balance could be a little off today. You could be really on today and be able to get it all the way up there. Let's grow your branches once you have your balance. You're also just staring at one thing in front of you. So something that's not moving in front of you, you wanna stare at that. If you are steady in that position, let's have some wind to come through those branches. We're lifting and lowering. Good. Squeeze up high. And even swinging back and forth. And let's reach the arms back up. If you wanna add one last challenge and be careful with this one, take your gaze up to the ceiling. Good, let's take your gaze forward, hands back to your heart. Wonderful job, let's shake it out. We'll do it on the other side. Tree pose is beginner pose, but it's very powerful. It's a good pose to just jump into any time of the day. All right, so let's try your left leg now. Make sure you have your center, your balance, you're squeezing your belly button to your spine. Take the foot on, or the heel on the ankle, a little higher, or you can skip your knee and take it even higher than that. Good, today I'm gonna stay low. Good, deep breaths. When you're ready and you have that stable position, grow your tree. Arms come up, relax your shoulders. And the wind, here comes the wind. Drop down and lift up. Good. <laughs> my wind is causing my tree to fall over. <laughs> 
and lift up and maybe sway side to side. Good. I know you'll notice I drop my foot down a little bit. <laughs> now you can take the challenge and lift that chin up to the ceiling. Good, you're looking forward. And let's take your hands back to your heart. Wonderful job, just shake it out. And let's step up to the front of your mat if you're not already there. Shaking your legs. Give me an inhale here. Hands to heart center, we exhale and come down in your forward fold. We're gonna start to bend the knees and we either Grab opposite elbows in front or behind the knees. Relax your head down. Good. Maybe even start to straighten the knees, so stretch through the back. Only if that feels good. Now start to bend again, taking your hands down to your mat. Let's step both feet back. Knees come down and we settle back into our child's pose. Let's take a few cleansing breaths here. And if you'd like to stay in that position and rest, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. You might need the rest today. For the rest of us, we're coming down on your belly, on the mat. And we're going to strengthen that back with locust pose. So we're taking your arms and walking them behind you, lifting the legs and the upper body off of the mat. You're squeezing your glutes nice and dropping back down. Lift up and drop down. Lift up and drop down. Wonderful job. Let's face your gaze to the right, arms at your side, palms up. Just take a few breaths. We're starting to wind down. We still have plenty of time to fit some more in though. And now take your gaze to the left. And hands placed now under your shoulders. Push off of the mat. Take your legs to the front and let's straighten the legs out. Toes are up to the ceiling. Your feet are about a foot apart. We're sitting on your sits bones. So just pull those bones out. Good, squeeze your belly and let's lift the arms above your head. And exhale, reach forward toward the toes. Good, hold, maybe crawl those fingers a little closer to your toes. Walk the hands back. Let's press the soles of your feet together in butterfly pose. Drop the knees out. Good, give it a little pulse here. We're lifting the chest, pulling the shoulders back. And let's take the right hand. Pressing the right knee a little closer to your mat and the left hand, pressing the left knee a little closer to your mat. And let's take both feet out in front 
hips, shift to your heels. Let's roll up in a little ball here. So your chins to your chest, pull your knees in. Just take a few breaths here. And let's roll on your back, pulling your knees to your chest and let's rock side to side. Both feet come down, pulling your heels in toward your hips. And let's lift slowly and bridge. Your tailbone is coming up first, peeling your spine off of the mat. Exhale and let's roll back down. Inhale, lift. Push through the heels, extend the hips. And exhale. Inhaling now, reaching your arms up and overhead at the top of your extension. Roll down, we're exhaling. Inhale now and we're holding our bridge with our arms over our head. Good, now maybe pulsing the hips up, squeezing your glutes a little tighter each time. Just pulse here, push through the heels. The toes can be even be up on the mat. Squeeze your glutes a little tighter. Now we roll down, so let's roll down one vertebrae at a time and pull your knees into your chest. Chin comes up, let's rock back and forth. Hands now tuck behind your head. So this is a position that's available to you. We're staying here. If you still feel a little strain in your neck, you can lay your head back on the mat or put a blanket under your head. We're going to work through your abdominals right now. So if you can, you're lifting your head up, your hands tuck behind with your fingers spread just to support your head. Your knees are into your chest, your lower back presses in. So we're really squeezing your belly button to your spine, getting this core nice and tight. We're gonna take your right leg straight out or from that bent position straight up. So I want your back to stay on the mat and not feel any strain. So it doesn't matter where your leg is coming, but we're gonna bring it in and out, just the right leg right now. Take it out and in. And by all means, if you can take it a lot lower, Cover that leg over the mat, please do that. It doesn't matter where you are right now. Your yoga journey is your yoga journey. And it's okay to set goals for yourself. Just get a little stronger each time. Now your left leg goes out, out and in. This one you may not be able to get it to where the other leg was. It may be higher, it may be lower. Either way, it's okay. Just in and out, squeezing your stomach. Your belly button is still to your spine, don't forget. That's the most important part in strengthening your core. Good, just give me one more. Yes, okay, relax your head. Pull the knees in and let's make a circle with the knees.
Yeah, let's make a circle in the opposite direction. The feet plant on the mat. Let's heel toe them to the outer edges. Take your arms in goal posts. So your palms are up to the ceiling, your elbows are back, they're straight across from your shoulders. Lower back is still pressing in as we drop your knees from the right to the left. Keeping your shoulders and your elbows down. Good, opening your hips a little here. Hips down, everybody. And allow your knees to start back in. Your hands are behind your legs. So we're gonna work into a boat pose. And then after that, we'll do some more stretches and get into Shavasana. For boat pose, modified boat pose, you are on your mat, your chin is tucked to your chest, hands tucked behind your head. And just like we took one leg out before, we're gonna take both out. But this time we're holding. So you really wanna put it in a position where you can keep it. It can even be here, anywhere is fine. That's the modified ver version. If you wanna stay on the mat, but you wanna challenge yourself a little, you can take your legs a little lower, arms are up by your ears, or you can take them and tuck them behind your head and lift. You can also bend your knees and straighten. There's a lot of options here. If you would like the most advanced, we are up on our hips, lifting the legs, and then you can lift the arms up. Good, you can also straighten the legs and hold it here. Wherever you are, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. It's gonna be hard, you can definitely do it. I know you can. Ready? 30 seconds, hold. If you're up like I am, keep your chest up. Open that chest like we did before in warrior two. If you're down on the mat, it's very important to keep your belly tight. Good, keep your head supported if you need it. Breathe through this, that's also important. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. I talked the whole way through it. We have two and one. Wonderful job. Yes, you did it. Let's roll back. Knees to your chest, rock back and forth. That's a heck of a way to end our six weeks. Straighten your legs out. Reach your arms overhead and take a full body stretch. Point the toes, reach a little higher on the right and left. Let's pull that left knee in toward your chest. Tuck the left foot to the inside of the right leg as you allow that knee to drop to the right side. Reach the left arm back and take your gaze to the back. Nice job. Let's release. Oh, love those twisting poses. Bring your knees to your chest again. And let's take another full body stretch. Arms overhead. Here, reach a little higher on both sides. And let's tuck that right knee into your chest. Wonderful. Take the foot to the inside of the leg. Drop the knee. Reaching the right arm back, and we're taking our gaze toward the hand. Just breathing through the stretch. Maybe on every exhale, gently coaxing that knee a little closer to the floor. Oh, 
under the dog. Again, pull your knees in. And let's try happy baby pose before we get into Shavasana. So we're taking your hands and grabbing the ankles, and grabbing the insides of the feet, allowing both knees to come down by the armpits, flexing the feet, separating the legs and rocking side to side. Deep breaths here. All right, let's bring those knees back in. Feet hit the mat. Extending both legs out and let's separate the feet, allowing your toes to drop out. Arms are away from your body, palms are up. We're just relaxing. Maybe one more time thinking about your affirmation and keeping it with you through the rest of the evening, even after class. Good, just relax. And we start to bring awareness back into your fingers and your toes. And if you'd like to stay in that position and rest, you may do that. And let's roll over on your right side. And when you're ready, let's press to a seated position. Hands to your heart. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today and in the last few weeks or even last few months. Thank you for trying new things. And we end this evening, as always, with a deep cleansing breath. And by saying the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Wonderful job, everybody. Again, if you'd like to sign up for the next six weeks for beginner yoga, just go to memberbenefits at gbu.org and they would be happy to sign you up and give you the new link for next Tuesday at 7 p.m. If you have any questions, just write that in your comments too. Thank you all so much. I'll see you next week. Wonderful job. Good night.